Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Transfer Rumours slash Roundup. And the reason I'm wearing this top out of all is because I've barely got anything left because everything's in the wash. I'm going on holiday to Tenerife for two weeks tomorrow. So yeah, my upload schedule will be a bit hit and miss. Let me know if you want to see any vlogs or any sort of videos. I'll try and upload some transfer videos while I'm out there. Like, uh, it shouldn't take too long. It'll be on a phone. It's quite high quality uh, Samsung uh, S7 Edge. But anyway, um, it depends what the internet's like out there. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might have some prediction videos already ready made, scheduled to come out. But yeah, I'm on holiday for two weeks. So if my uploading schedule is a little less than usual, then that's uh, why. Also, again, let me know if you want to see vlogs or anything like that while I am there. So let's kick this off. And the biggest transfer story at the minute is obviously Paul Pogba, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I did a full video yesterday. Um, link will be in the description if you haven't seen it. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about the 100 million reported bid that's soon to be actually sent to Juventus by Manchester United. So uh, yeah, check that out for more info on the Pogba thing. Next, we've got Alexis Sanchez, who is reportedly interested in a move to Juventus, and Juventus are very interested in buying Alexis Sanchez. Now, uh, there's conflicting reports. Some say Sanchez wants a move to Juventus, uh, and that he's prepared to hand in a transfer request. Others don't say that, but they do say that Juventus have offered, I think it's like 25 million, which is... That's just stupidly low for Sanchez, uh, given the ridiculous fees being thrown about by clubs uh, at this present time. But yeah, uh, this one will roll on to the end of the summer. I mean, if he does hand in a transfer request, then I, I would imagine he would go. But if he doesn't, then I can't see Arsenal selling him. Like he is When he's on form, he's their best player. I mean, obviously, Mesut Ozil... It's hard to judge between those two, but they are definitely their two world-class players. You can maybe put Peter Cech in that bracket as well. Um, but yeah, they are certainly the core of Arsenal. And if they lost one of them, they'd be considerably weaker. So they're going to do all they can to keep him. But uh, we'll see how this one rolls on. Next, we've got a confirmed deal. Musa moving to Leicester City reportedly for about 16.5 million but it's an undisclosed fee one thing that is disclosed however is that it is their record transfer and they're prepared to break that again apparently so uh yeah Leicester I think have made four or five signings now they've also signed Lewis Cook but I don't know too much about him Leeds United fans uh seem to think he's a very very good player that's who they got him from so uh, we'll have to wait and see if he can develop in the Premier League um but as for Musa He's very pacey, I don't know too much about him, he plays in the Russia League or he did prior to moving to Leicester so we'll have to see if he can adapt, probably be played on the left and uh, yeah they've got some extreme pace in that team now, if they can keep Mahrez, they've got Vardy, they've got Musa, that's a very pacey forward line. Anyway, next we've got Victor Valdez completing a move to Middlesbrough. That is a stunning signing for Middlesbrough. Valdez is still a quality keeper. He's been back up to David De Gea. No shame in that, to be fair. But uh, obviously came from Barca, went to Man United, then went to Standard Liège on loan, and is now at Middlesbrough permanently. And that is a fantastic buy. He's 34, so he's about prime age for a goalkeeper. So, uh, yeah, for free, it, no complaints, especially for a newly promoted team. Middlesbrough are making some big moves in this transfer window. And they're also in the next rumour and that is Subotic. He is heavily linked to go to Middlesbrough. It is reported that Arsenal might put in a bid but it's supposedly in advanced stages for the transfer of Subotic to Middlesbrough. I suppose Subotic would obviously be guaranteed a first team start which is what he complained he didn't have at Borussia Dortmund. That's why he wants to end his nine year stay there. Arsenal wouldn't be able to, if they did even go in for him, they wouldn't be able to offer him that. So I think it's more likely he'll go to Middlesbrough because he cares about playing time. He said he doesn't want to earn his wage sitting on the bench. So, you know, that's a very good statement, to be fair, for a football player. And this, this would be a stunning signing for Middlesbrough again. Like, some some teams in the newly promoted or lower half of the Premier League are really making some big moves to try and break in or get as high in the table as they can. Anyway... Next, we've got Alvaro Morata. He's been heavily linked to a whole host of clubs. Uh, Chelsea and Arsenal are the two front runners, apparently, if Real Madrid do choose to sell. But it's reported that Real Madrid, well, either want 60 million euros, 75 million euros. Like, it, it doesn't seem to be clear, but they do want an astronomical fee. 
And I doubt, right now, I doubt Arsenal are ever going to pay that. Like, they only did with Mesut Ozil and Alexis Sanchez because they were available. I suppose if Morata is, then they might, but they'd also shown in previous seasons that they were fantastic players. Morata, yes, he has. I'm not, I'm not disputing that, but he is very young. And I just can't see Arsenal spending that much money on a youngster. Like, Wenger just seems to just not want to spend... They need one or two world-class signings to really mount a solid title charge. Every single year, it's the same story with Arsenal, and they just refuse to do it. Like It must be so frustrating being a fan of Arsenal. But Chelsea, on the other hand, I think is more likely because I think they will stump up more cash than Arsenal. And should Real Madrid want to sell, I think Chelsea is the likeliest destination. They've just signed Batshuayi for 32 million, I think. So I think it's incredibly likely that this deal will go through to Chelsea, but we'll have to see how it pans out. Next, we've got a player going out of Chelsea, reportedly, and that is Nemanja Matic, heavily linked to Juventus. Um, it's also said that he might want to actually force a move if Juventus make a formal bid. There was also a report that said he's waiting for an offer for Man United, but he understands or he thinks that he's the backup option for Paul Pogba. Not really sure how true that is, but um, yeah, I reckon Juventus is a very likely destination should Conte actually want to sell him at uh, Chelsea. He might be able to persuade him to stay. I mean, of course, he might want to stay. It might just be media bullshit. Like, we can only say what we've been told by the media and then give our thoughts on it. So, yeah, there's nothing solid here, but the report fee, I think, is about 25 million. So, we'll wait and see how this develops. If Paul Pogba does complete his move to Man United or Real Madrid, I think it's more likely that Juventus will step up the chase for Nemanja Matic and uh, definitely want him as a linchpin for their side. But anyway, next rumour we've got is Grazia... Well, it's not a rumour, it's a confirmed deal. Graziano Pella off to China. Unbelievable. Like, the amount of players that are going to China now, 13 million, I think, is the fee. He's probably on 150k a week. I think he's 30, 31. He was linked to Chelsea. He was linked to some other clubs, but obviously... He's that age, he wants the easy way out, so as to speak, easy money in China, so not much more to say really. Uh, I wonder who Southampton will replace him with though. Anyway, next we've got another Arsenal rumour, that is Lacazette, but today it's being widely reported that they are not willing to match the 42 million price tag put on him by Leon. Is that too expensive? Like, is that overpaying? Of course it is, but nowadays that is what you've got to do. If you want to get your players, if you're serious, uh, to quote Robbie off AF, uh, Arsenal Fan TV, you need to be aggressive in the transfer market. And that's true. And Arsenal just aren't. I don't see what, like, why they aren't spending something like £42 million. Taking a risk instead of not taking a risk. Like They've not taken a risk for years. And they've you know, had the same cycle where they're top of the table come January. Then they denate you. Then it's the same... And then they, they can't fight for the title by the end of it. It's just the same story every single year. And Arsene Wenger refuses to overpay for players. And nowadays, Palace are bidding €38 million Euros on players. Late like on Batshuayi. He didn't go, of course not. But they're still doing it. They're bidding €30 million on Benteke. I mean, come on. Like, Arsenal are supposedly one of the top teams in the Premier League. Even the world. And yet they're not prepared to spend this money. Regardless of whether a player's worth it, you need to overpay in this market. You have to if you want to get better. So, yeah, it must be unbelievably frustrating being an Arsenal fan. If you're an Arsenal fan, you subscribe to me. Let me know your thoughts on like the transfers. Would you prefer to overpay for a player and then actually get a new striker who, of course, it's a risk. Any player you sign is a risk. Or would you prefer to just have Giroud leading your life? And I can't believe I've just done that. Wow, you idiot. I've spilled my fucking tea. But anyway, uh, yeah, would you prefer to have Giroud and Welbeck as your uh, backup or risk and spend the money? Anyway, the last player we've got linked is Bonucci to Manchester City. They had a £38 million bid rejected, but it's reported that they'll go up to £51 million. Now, unlike Pogba, I, it could happen. Of course it could. But I don't think it will, purely because... I think Benucci was born in Turin. If not, he was definitely born in Italy. So he's been at Juventus for a number of years. And I think he's got a loyalty to them, something Pogba doesn't have. So regardless of the fee, if Benucci doesn't want to force the move, Juventus won't accept it. But 
he's 29. I think he'll be future Juventus captain. That's why I think he won't go. Regardless of Pep Guardiola of Manchester City, of the offers he's being offered, I generally just think he's, he's too loyal to Juventus. If it happens, I'm wrong. Of course it could happen. Anything can happen in football. Not denying it, but I'm just... I don't think he will. Like I, Chelsea were linked, and I said to my mate, like that was the signing he really wanted. Of course, top quality centre back, one of the best in the world. But I just can't see Juventus or Bonucci wanting to leave, regardless of what's offered. But we'll have to wait and see with all the deals. Of course, if it does move, if he does move to City, it's one of the best transfers this transfer window, without a doubt. He is a top quality centre back, and yeah, that will bring another element to uh, City's team, which I wouldn't like to see. But anyway. Hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.